Hello, beautiful star seed. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for this week's Galactic Guidance video where the Pleiadians will be coming through with messages about having fun and living life with more joy. We could all use that during the month of January. So I really hope you enjoy this week's Galactic Guidance. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily. I'm an Akashic Records practitioner and teacher and a Galactic channel. And I channel these weekly Galactic Guidance videos from our Galactic and Star families with wisdom to share with you on how to enjoy this life here on Earth even in a better way than you could possibly imagine. And so during these videos, I simply know who I'm channeling and what I'll be talking about, what the intention is behind the video, but I don't know the specifics and I don't know the channeled messages that are going to come through. These videos are channeled live on the spot. So as always with all channeled information, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I feel like today's video is gonna be just something that's so needed at this time with everything that's going on in the world. And during the month of January when this video is released, we of course kind of as a collective we're all sort of getting back to work after the holidays maybe we're working towards new year's resolutions or goals that we have or intentions that we've set for ourselves for the year and so as we're kind of coming to the end of the month of january you may just feel like oh there's a lot of drudgery there's just like a lot to do and there's so much work to get done and we don't have less daylight hours in the day here in the northern hemisphere with where it's the winter season and maybe you just feel like because it's cold you're stuck in the office you can't get outside and you're just kind of feeling the effects of winter so this video is really designed to help uplift your spirits and help you connect with your inner child again so that you can find more play and more fun in your day-to-day -day life I find that because I tend to work with in my practice and I tend to attract a lot of people into my world who are high achievers, very successful, ambitious people who have a really hard time slowing down to enjoy themselves. It's really easy for us as high achieving star seeds to want to focus on the next task or our to-do list and to get everything done and we kind of get on this hamster wheel of constantly doing things no matter what career or job you work in even if you're a business owner you can still get kind of get caught up in the monotony of the day-to-day -day routine and all of the pressures and challenges that come with it and so sometimes maybe you'll get some guidance that tells you you need to relax a little bit and have a little bit more fun and maybe that's really hard for you to do i know it can be really hard for me especially when i'm kind of in work mode it can be really hard to kind of pull myself out of that work mode and focus on something else and focus on doing something that brings me joy or that makes me laugh and so again, we'll be getting some guidance on that today. So if you are one of those people and there's no shame in this by any means, because I've been there too. And again, a lot of my clients struggle with this. If you're one of those people who has a hard time creating time for fun and play, please comment below. This is a safe space. And, I, and let me know if the messages from today helped you in order to kind of shift that for you. So... The Pleiadians are coming through now very strongly, and of course, they would be the perfect group of beings to speak on this topic because they really embody the energy of, they're calling it unconditional joy, joy without conditions or restrictions or restraints, joy that just is. We often, as human beings, Think that joy is something that comes out of our productivity. We can be joyful when we have achieved this goal or when we've gotten our work done for the day or 
work hard, play hard, right? In order to play, we have to work hard first. And so we attach all of these things to joy, thinking that it's our ultimate reward for all of the hard stuff that we have to go through during the course of our day-to-day -day routine in our lives. And that's not what joy is. Joy is this unrestrained energy. It is this beautifully wild, fun, playful, unstoppable force that does not need us <laughs> to tell it what to do. <laughs> and so the Palladians today want us to start seeing joy from a place of non-attachment, from a place of I can have joy at any moment of my day. I don't need to get everything done or make everything perfect in order to allow myself to be joyful. So if this is resonating with you so far, I really want you to feel the frequency of these channeled messages in your body because they're going to help shift some of the heaviness and the density that you've been feeling so far this year. And they're going to help you be able to open yourself up to that unrestrained joy, that joy without conditions, that unconditional joy. When was the last time, they want me to encourage you to ask yourself, when was the last time you allowed yourself to be happy and joyful without limits? <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, for me, if I'm really tuning into that, oh my gosh, I can get lost in a moment, but then as soon as the moment is over... I am thinking about what do I need to do next? What do I have to do for the rest of the day? What are the other things on my to-do list? And so we can get kind of caught up again in that hamster wheel of productivity. And as soon as we're working on something, then maybe we can have the time for joy. And then as soon as we've created the time for joy, oh, we have, you know, we have to schedule an hour of time in our day for play and for joy. And that just does not feel good, does it? So what the Pleiadians want to do is to help us see joy as something that can exist simultaneously with everything else that you have going on in your life. Joy knows no boundaries. Joy can exist in the here and now, no matter what is going on in your life. You can still return back to a place of joy. And so what they want you to do for a moment is they want you to close your eyes and they want you to imagine and bring yourself into the experience of what you would do if you could have a whole day of unrestrained joy, of joy without conditions. What would that look like for you? So without giving you ideas, I want you now to take some time to sit with that and to see what comes up for you. And as you're sitting in this visual, I want you to feel what it feels like in your body, to experience it as if you were there right now. Take your time. If you need to pause this video, pause this video. But if you're, you feel complete around what that looks like and feels like, you can open your eyes. So for me, I was immediately taken to being on the beach. The beach to me is the frequency of pure joy. When I am on the beach, I don't have a care in the world. I've got my delicious lunch that I eat on the beach. I am running down the sand. I am throwing the water in the air. And I am just so happy. I am so delighted. And that to me is pure joy. That's what pure joy feels like. 
And it doesn't have to be on the beach for me. It could be, it's snowing right now as I'm filming this video. I could be running down my street, <laughs> uh, throwing snow into the air and enjoying the snow like a child would. Or I could just bring that feeling of joy into my body watching my favorite show at night or eating a favorite meal that I love. So now that you have that felt sense, that experience, you've been in the experience of what joy is like for you. Now, maybe you saw something that is an activity or a hobby or something that you love to do that you could incorporate into your day-to-day -day life more often. Amazing. If you had an experience like me where maybe you were in a favorite place that you can't get to that often or you were doing something that it just wouldn't be possible during your, the course of your normal day, at least you gained the experience in your body of what it feels like to be in your joy and what unrestrained joy feels like for you. And now that you know what that feels like, now we can seek out new experiences that are going to bring forward that authentic joy. So right now, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes again. And I want you to allow your consciousness to show you something that you can do or try or a way that you can just be during the course of your week that will bring you back that feeling of unrestrained joy. What is that for you? And when you feel complete around that, you can take a moment and open your eyes. And hopefully that gave you an idea of something that you can try or something that you can incorporate into your life more often that will help bring that joy into your reality. For me, it was having a mug of hot chocolate with whipped cream on top that always just brings a smile to my face and helps unlock that feeling of that unrestrained joy again. So that's something that I can incorporate into my week and really have fun with. Maybe even experiment with my hot chocolate recipe and try new things. So the next thing the Pleiadians want us to tune into is to follow your intuition this week. After you watch this video, follow your intuition to try something new in your life that sparks your interest, that piques your interest. Something that you've been getting a nudge about that really lights you up and lights up your body. So some examples could be you're getting this targeted Facebook ad for a product that you just feel in your body would bring a smile to your face. And so you, t you follow your intuition, you trust yourself, and you buy it. Another example could be you see an, you get an email about an event that's happening in the city that you live in, and it's a, an event you normally wouldn't go to, but there's something about it you're just really intrigued by it, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to book those tickets. Or maybe, hmm, and now the Pleiadians are coming in with another idea. So I'm going to have you again close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to imagine that your inner child is standing in front of you. young version of you around the ages of let's say five to ten. I want you to picture your inner child standing in front of you. I want you to say hello to them for a moment.
And I want you to take your hand in their hand and I want you to ask them and say, let's play together. What would you like to do today? And let your inner child show you what would bring them joy. and be in this experience for a moment. It may surprise you. It may bring up something you've forgotten about. I want you to tell your inner child when you would be able to do that activity with them, whether it's this weekend, later this month, maybe even tomorrow. Give them a date so that they know when to expect that you're gonna do this together. Okay, perfect. And when you're ready, you can take a moment and open your eyes. Feel free to pause this recording if you need more time. Now, you have just made a commitment to your inner child to do something with them that would bring them joy. <laughs> so that is your assignment after watching this video is to create and carve out some space and time for that activity for it to bring your inner child along with you to do something special to inspire that unrestrained joy and to also follow your intuition this week to see what piques your interest again what things, events, activities, ideas kind of come up for you. Maybe you see something on Instagram, maybe a restaurant that you want to try, or you're inspired by maybe someone's made a new beverage recipe and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so fun. I want to try that myself. Follow that intuitive nudge. That intuitive nudge into something that's going to light you up, will light you up, and will help activate that energy of joy again. And now you get to go play with your inner child. <laughs> and now you get to go try something new or return to something nostalgic that you loved as a kid, maybe something that totally surprised you. And imagine what that could do to help get you out of your normal routine. This is the cool part, and this is why play and joy is so important. It helps open and expand our consciousness to see new possibilities for ourselves, to see new ideas, to have insights drop in, and again, get us out of our head and into our body, to stop worrying so much about the day-to-day, -day, about the to-do list, about the routine, and to really just be in the moment, be in the experience. That's what this is all about. And when our consciousness expands and when our reality expands and when we see new possibilities and opportunities, those things can help us shift the day today and make our lives even better. Maybe your inner child showed you an activity that you loved and that becomes a part of your daily routine or your weekly routine. And maybe that completely changes the game for you. <laughs> maybe that ignites a whole new area of your life of study of, again, play, joy, activity. And maybe that completely shifts the trajectory of your life. <laughs> Who knows what can happen? But there's a reason why children have the ability to play without boundaries, to have that unconditional joy for life, it's because they know they are closer to God, they are closer to divine source because they came here more recently than we did. And they know authentically what it feels like and is like to live their life in the best, most joyful way possible. And we need more of that as adults. 
So let all these ideas inspire you to try something new, to get you out of your rut, your comfort zone, your hibernation mode in your house during this winter season, at least for the purpose of bringing a smile to your face, making yourself laugh, (laughs) and having fun with your inner child in a way that could possibly change your life forever. So I'm sending you so much love. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what resonated with you and perhaps how you're going to incorporate unrestrained joy into your daily routine or into your life in general. And make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye for now.